Hello, I'm Jerry Ford. We're going to review a Starkist. Um, this is an EVOO solid, solid light tuna with roasted garlic in extra virgin olive oil. Wild tuna. It has this gold label. Kind of looks like a fancy. It looks it's like it's pretty fancy looking. <laughs> um, but the flavors kind of enticed me to check this thing out. Um, so this is my lunch. Let's see what this is like. It's got a pull tab on it, fortunately. Um, let's just kind of wipe this top off just a little bit. When we get groceries, we clean everything now. So this has been sanitized, actually, but there's still a little bit of little, you know, light debris that's in the, the crevice, the crevice of the can. Ingredients, light tuna, extra virgin olive oil, water, Contains 2% or less of the following sea salt, dehydrated garlic, roasted garlic with other natural flavors. Contains fish. Tuna. Product may contain bones. Wild caught. Omega-3s, gluten-free, soy-free. Don't they have a way to, you know take out the possibility of someone choking on a bone in there with all the technology we had today don't they haven't they made a machine yet to to keep that from happening for me to jab a bone into the gum of my mouth you know do you guys want to see that on the video I, I'm, I wouldn't I wouldn't edit it out I don't I can't edit right now but I wouldn't I wouldn't just discard the video you guys would see it happen so, uh, some of you freaks out there going, yeah, that'd be cool to see. I hope it happens to Jerry. There, got the, got that lid off without any splatter. Smells good. Let me, uh... This is Friday. So, you know, I'm going to be gone for, you know, the weekend. I don't want this can in my trash can sitting here stinking. So, what I like to do is... I'll put... Put it in a little bag and throw it in the garbage outside on my way out. So, okay, so let me let you guys see this. You can see the, the extra virgin olive oil in there. You can see the garlic on top. They look like little maggots, see those? The tune is kind of a a little bit darker color. Um, I don't know if that's from the roasted garlic juices or the olive oil or what that is like that for, but okay, so grab some crackers. So in the aroma. I'm getting a nice tuna aroma. I'm getting the, the olive oil a little bit there. Getting the garlic. I'm getting a little roasty aroma. Hmm, smells really good. I looked on YouTube and I didn't see any other reviews of this. So uh, this may be like the first one. That's kind of interesting.
Gotta watch out for bones in there. Starkist is a big company. You'd think they'd have some of the best, you know, machines to keep somebody from biting down on a fish bone. Okay, here we go. That's pretty good. Nice tuna taste. That olive oil in there. It's really nice. Um, getting the garlic. I'm getting a little bit a light um roastiness of the garlic in there um it's nice and tender pretty good this would make a really good this would go good on some toast Make a sandwich out of some toast, breaded, toasted bread. Um, maybe a little mayo or a real, real mayonnaise or something. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very good. So there you go. E V O O. I wonder what that stands for. I'll look it up. I'll put it in the description below when I find out what it is, what it means. Because I have another one here. It doesn't say that. This is uh, another review you all will see maybe Monday. Um, Starkist Select. See, this is not a Select. This is just Starkist E-V-O-O. -O. Wait a minute. Olive oil. In okay, here we go. <laughs> in this EVO extra virgin olive oil, figured it out by myself. I'm not as dumb as what I thought I was. <laughs> okay, so this one, well, this one's in extra virgin olive oil too. Why doesn't it say EVOO on this one? Oh. It does on on the lid see there underneath the tab okay so this must be just kind of a uh, a little special thing they got with the extra virgin olive oil like a flavor and then in the extra virgin olive oil so there might be more than this i don't have to look and see but this is a it's a nice uh it's a nice um flavor line they got going on here so if you like tuna or fish in general then uh, you will like this um, very good okay well, I'm going to end it there. I think this was the first review on this one, so that's pretty cool. And rare for me. I don't get a lot of first reviews, so... Both of these don't have reviews of them yet. Okay. That I found, anyway, so... If I'm mistaken in... The person just happens to watch this that actually did was the first one then i apologize to you so okay well 
But thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Check this out if you like these kind of products. It's really good. Um, I don't know what else you could eat it on besides crackers or make a sandwich out of it. I don't know if this will go good on salads or not. Anyway, okay. Yeah, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And we will see you all on the next one. All right, bye.